The career and admission program, I understand that you want to take that from 40 yearly quotas to 400. That's a really big expansion, but I understand there's been a lot of success with the program and we're looking, started out CIPP, but we're dropping the P off and institutionalizing it. Well, <clears throat> we want to expand it because we want to give people, we want to make careers more flexible. I mean, we've had, we've had people like the just past commandant of the Marine Corps, Jim Amos, who took some time off. We want to let people take time off out of the active service for, to have a family, to look after elderly parents, to get some education that they wouldn't otherwise be able to get, and then come back in, but be able to compete when they came back in, roll back their lineal numbers, things like this. And we're asking Congress to take off the pilot from it. We're asking Congress to, as you said, expand it 10 times because the people who've been through, first person that went through was promoted to 06 and given major command. So we know, we know this thing works. And <clears throat> to go back to a previous question, we're asking Congress to expand the paid maternity leave from six weeks to 12 weeks, to get us more in line with what uh, best practices are to get, uh, again, so that people won't have to choose between family or having a family and service.